In this net savvy age, almost everyone needs a high speed connection, and the customer has plenty to choose from a Reliance NetConnect, Tata Photon to MTS Blaze. Most data card operators promise speed of 3.1 Mbps. Our reporter Sudarshan tries to find out if customers really get the speed promised. We wish to clarify that some of the visuals used in the story are for an illustrative purpose only and do not necessarily imply deficiency of service with regard to any of the brands shown. Carry your speed, blazing speed, speed on the move. Taglines used by data operators to attract customers. And that promised speed is up to 3.1 Mbps. But is that what we get? Depending upon what they promise, see, whenever you take a connection, they tell you that they're going to give you 3.1 Mbps or 7.2 Mbps. But actually, when we make use of it, it, it depends, it reduces very drastically. I have face, uh, face speed problems many uh, times, I mean, mostly because of the shadowing which happens. You know, you're sitting at a place where there's no signal. So many times you would face the problem. This disconnect is despite the claim by operators that they have at least 20 towers in a big city like Chennai. Moreover, some operators also provide an option to check the speed. The second fastest growing CDMA. Uh, forget about the peak speeds, which is what I was referring to a little bit earlier, which is 3.1 Mbps or 7.2 or 14.6. That happens if you are the only subscriber sitting under the tower. So what's the catch? You should read the fine print. It is uh, technically up to 3.1 Mbps. So in the most optimal situation, you can get 3.1 Mbps is what we promise. India is the one with the least amount of internet penetration. So less than 10% of the population uh, has access to internet. And even more so, only 3.5% of the population has wireline access. Today, when countries like USA, China and UK talk about 4G and see live television on internet without that painful buffering, Data card users in India still have to complain about not getting the internet speed of even 3.2 Mbps. In Chennai with Sudarshan Kumar, Evelyn Matthew for NDTV Hindu. Who will be BJP's Prime Ministerial candidate in 2014? Is LK Advani still a contender? Speaking to NDTV Bharka Dath uh, during his Rath Yatra, Mr. Advani said he is not a contender for the PM's candidate, but said the final decision would be the party's. In his clearest statement yet on the controversy, Advani said he saw no reason to make an announcement ruling himself out. He also rubbish reports that the RSS did not back his Yatra. He said he had personally clarified the matter with RSS chief Mohan Bhagwat. Mr. Adwani's statements came out on a day when Uma Bharti shared the stage with him in Varanasi and made a clear reference to him as a Prime Minister candidate for 2014. Adwani ji, the differences in the UPA government, whether it's uh, what we saw with Pranab Mukherjee and Mr. Chidambaram recently or Digvijay Singh often speaking in public are well known. But the Congress turns around and says that there are many internal factions within the BJP as well. They claim, for example, that the party has not settled yet who will be its prime ministerial candidate. At every press conference you are asked that, you say, we will decide this in 2014. Do you see yourself as somebody who would be a contender for the prime ministerial post in 2014? I am not a contender for the prime ministerial post. In fact, even in 2009, when the party said that you are to be the prime ministerial candidate, I was not a contender. In fact, my party's own displeasure with me had started just a few months before that. And uh, yet I was chosen. And I said, did not say no. I'm not a contender. But at the same time, if people say that, you must say that I will not uh, become prime minister. I see no reason. So you're saying I, if the party wants you to be no, a candidate, I, you will be? Only because the... But therefore, therefore it is that when I saw in the newspapers that the RSS is not happy with the announcement of my Yatra. The moment I saw that, I felt surprised. And I thought, why ask anyone else? I'll go to Nagpur. I've gone to Nagpur for the first time in many, many years that way. And I said, uh, I'll meet Bhagwati himself, that is there any truth in this? 
because I had an impression that anyone fighting corruption would be welcome. He said, in fact, the day I heard your the report, your press conference announcement, I, a meeting was going on and I told them that uh, 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 an excellent decision has been taken and everyone in the RSS should support it. And so you don't worry about it. Absolutely no basis. I, and I, but I said there again, I said it in Nagpur itself. I said that when I had decided about this yatra, the issue is not uh, prime ministership. The issue is, in fact, I said it today because I was asked that uh, is it repackaging of LK Advani? Someone asked me, I said, Advani is not the issue. The issue is the country. The issue is India. So you're saying that when you met the RSS chief, he absolutely rubbished reports that the RSS was against the Yatra. Yes. And you're also saying that while you're not a contender for the PM's post, you see no reason to rule it out publicly. It's up to the party. Would that be a fair... That's all, would that not be a fair only that. Not, not only that, but I would say that I do not know when the elections come, they come three years hence. Uh, today I am in a very fit condition, tomorrow I do not know. I do not know. After all, a, a person is... So it all depends on many factors. And besides that, besides that, I when I say that uh, we have very many leaders in the party who can uh, fit the bill, who can do justice to that job. Uh, I'm not saying it just as, as a rhetoric or a matter of... It is that, you see how well the leaders in the two houses are conducting themselves. What follows is an outcome of our NDTV Hindu campaign, Save Our Pavements. Today we bring you the dilapidated state of sidewalks at Roy Petta. Stay tuned.